Are you recording interviews or creating content using Zoom, but you want it to look better when you're repurposing that content for social media? And the best thing is you don't need to be a video editor to do this, so stick around. G'day, I'm Ben Amos from Engage Video Marketing, and on this channel, I share tips, tricks, and strategies to help you grow your business using online video strategy. Now, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and then the bell so that you can be notified every time we go live with a new video here on the channel. So if you're anything like me, over the last few weeks, particularly during the coronavirus issues in 2020, you've been spending a lot of time on Zoom calls. And in fact, a lot of the content that you're recording on Zoom can add to your content marketing strategy, can be a useful part of your video marketing strategy. However, by default, the recordings that you get from Zoom, they really don't look good enough to use directly in social media like that. They're typically recorded in a widescreen or a picture in picture kind of an approach. And if you're planning on repurposing or using these videos on social media as is, chances are it's not going to look too good. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you, even if you're not a video editor, how you can use some available and often free tools to make your Zoom video recordings look better when used on social media. And my toolkit for this workflow is the free video converter MPEG Stream Clip, which you can get for Windows or Mac computers, and a free Canva account, and automatic transcribing and video captioning platform, Quick. The links to everything is below on this video, so make sure you click those links to go and check out all the different tools that you need for this. But it's a very simple process and I'm gonna walk you through it right now. Winds in my face. So let's start with a raw Zoom recording from a meeting. By default, your Zoom recording will be in what's called speaker mode, where the whoever's speaking at any given time is highlighted in the video. So what we want to do is make sure that when we're in the Zoom meeting, that we're recording in gallery mode. Now, gallery mode will actually place the images side by side, like you see on the screen here. So it's important to make sure that before you hit record on your Zoom meeting, if you're intending to repurpose it in this way, that you're actually recording in gallery mode. Now, once you've got your Zoom content recorded, you'll want to decide on a short extract that potentially you can use on social media as a standalone video. So you want to take note, you want to watch through and take note of the in point and the out point of where you're going to actually edit a short extract out. Now, without using any video editing software, what we can do is actually download MPEG Stream Clip. Now, MPEG Stream Clip is free open source software which is available for Windows and Mac. And once you've downloaded and installed MPEG Stream Clip, you'll be able to open a video file. So click on File, Open Files, find the relevant Zoom recording file, and open. And once it's open in MPEG Stream Clip, again, you want to just scrub through the timeline here to find the in point that you want to come into your video and press, when you've decided on that, press I for in. So I on your keyboard will set an in point. You see it's kind of marked it here on the timeline. And then you want to play ahead and figure out where you want to end this short extract. So I'm just going to end it here for the purpose of this. So we've actually got a short piece of video content which is coming in at 6 minutes 52 in the entire video and out at 7 minutes 45. So you can see it's just under 60 seconds there. So I'm just going to pause that there. We've got this short little in and out point highlighted here. So that's the section we're going to extract. So now I can click on File, Export to MPEG-4. I'm going to make sure the quality is set to high. Compression is using H.264 compression. I'm going to leave the frame size at unscaled. The sound level, uh, the sound uh, options as default here, and basically everything else as default. So the important thing is making sure that you wind the quality up to 100. Click Make MPEG-4, and then you're going to decide where it is that you're going to save that to. In this case, I'm going to save it back to the same Zoom recording folder and just rename it to Zoom Extract 01.mp4. Click Save, wait for it to encode. Once the encoding is finished, then you can quit out of MPEG String Clip. We're done with MPEG String Clip and go to canva.com. Now, with a free canva.com account, you're able to do everything that we're talking about here today. So when you're in Canva, you're going to click create a design. We're going to create custom dimensions, which is a square aspect ratio, perfect for Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. And being less than 60 seconds, this extract will be ideal for the Instagram feed as well as those other platforms. So we're gonna click create design. And now we've got a blank 
square canvas. So the first thing to do is to actually import that video extract that we created. So I'm going to click on uploads here and upload an image or video. And then I'm going to head to the location that I'd actually saved that file. Now that's actually going to input that extract into Canva. You can see we've already got one that I'd previously brought in in the past, but this is the one that I'm uploading right now. You can see it's uploading now. Due to time Once it's uploaded, I can actually click on that video to add button. it to my canvas. Now I'm going to grab the resize handle Due to time zones and not being able to get size it out away on the phone. in this case, because the two subjects of the video are actually that right in the center, I can actually can size it bigger than the canvas itself that so that we can maximize that the amount of space that we're, that we're utilizing yeah, so for the video so components. I'm going, going to make sure it's somewhat centered and so that's centered there and that no one is really being cut off so I've got the video in Canva here in a square frame but it still doesn't look particularly good so now I'm going to customize some of the elements so one of the first things that you can do is just head over to the elements tab here and import one of these shapes these free shapes can be used in a number of different ways but as a simple frame we're able to use the shape change the color pick a color that suits the brand. So we're gonna go with this blue here and then I'm going to click on the icon up in the top right to actually duplicate that same shape. And then I can grab that shape and just drag it down and cover up the bottom part of the frame here. Now we've got a nice blue background to the square frame, but it still doesn't look great for social media just yet. So let's get some more branding in there. I'm gonna click back to my uploads folder and I'm gonna click on images and I've previously uploaded a logo file, um, which I'm going to now reposition and put in the top left, which is awesome just like that. Then I'm gonna grab a text element here, click on add a heading and resize that and reposition it. And you can use all of Canva's tools here to basically choose your fonts, choose your colors, work out what's going to work for you. I'm gonna pick a nice bold font here and say here is a hook based heading. And that's gonna be the title for the video. And the important thing is here is we're actually using that headline to hook a viewer and get them to watch and continue watching this short extract. Now I've uh, reformatted that alignment to be aligned to the right. And I'm going to also change the line spacing here to just compress that line spacing a little bit so that it better fits in that heading area as well. So now I've got the logo, which is probably a little bit big. Let's make it a little smaller there. Something like this. So I've got the logo and I've got a hook based heading for the video thrown in there as well. Now already that's starting to look much more like a social media based video, which is really cool. But what I want to do now is to capitalize on some of the other benefits of using Canva for this process. Because one of the cool things that you can do is actually search for certain stickers. Now stickers are basically animated GIF type overlays that you can import into your video as well to add some added interactivity to your to your videos. So what I tend to do is to focus on these social media stickers here. Now these social media stickers are usually quite relevant to what it is that we might want to do with social media video. So the sticker I'm going to use on this video is in designed to encourage people to actually share this video. So I'm going to use one of these share stickers here. I quite like the way that this one kind of catches the eye with a bit of a bit of grungy movement. So I'm going to drag that in, reposition it, resize it, and drop it down here where at the bottom of the frame where typically the share button will be on various platforms. So it kind of catches the eye with a bit of movement. Now you can customize things as much as you want here in Canva and really go to town on your visual style for your videos. But for the purpose of this demonstration, that will do. So I'm just going to go up here and change the file name of this. I'm going to say Zoom Extract 01 No Captions because at this stage, it hasn't actually got any captions across the bottom, which is what we're going to do in the next step. So I'm going to now click on the download option and download the video file. 
So once that's downloaded, we now have a video file with all of the branded elements in the frame that we have created in Canva. Now, now the next step is to add burnt in captions to the video so that it can be engaged with, with the sound off on social media. And to do this, we're going to use a tool called Quick. Now Quick is an automatic transcribing and burnt in captioning program, which you can get at engagevideomarketing.com slash quick. And by using my partner link, engagevideomarketing.com slash quick, then you will get double the minutes for your first subscribed month to the platform. So once we're in quick, we actually get our video file that we took from Canva and drag the video file into the upload window. It will upload very quickly and then we'll start processing the video. Now, if we click on go to video management, we'll see that this video is currently being transcribed. Typically, it takes about the same amount of time as the duration of the video for the transcription to take place. So we'll just speed it up now. And once it's transcribed, it's now ready to edit. Click on the big blue button and you'll be taken to an interface which enables you to check the transcription and to edit things where it needs to be corrected. So quickly go through and just listen, play back to your video and make sure that the transcription actually worked. Quickly go through, listen back to your video and adjust any of the transcription to correct things where needed. Then you can click on the formatting tools to change the formatting and positioning of your captions. So first of all, I'm going to simplify the captions and just use this transparent background preset here. I'm going to change the font to Arial and I'm gonna change the color to white, click OK. I'm gonna change the size here to 26 and I'm gonna leave it on center and there's no background or no shadow to this as well. So clicking back on the video, I can see that it's fairly large. I'm going to reposition the uh, vertical positioning to, I'm gonna try 20 and maybe reposition to 25. You can see it's much too large right now, so I'm just going to pick a smaller font size and reposition to, let's try 22. So that's positioned it there. Um, you can see it's here, if I play it back, due to time zone. Click play. Not being able to get back to them straight away on the phone, for example, which may be how good salespeople would would do that typically. Um, but can you give us some more? And you can see now we've got some beautiful burnt in captions that are customized to the font and the style that we want, and we're ready to go. Just click burn in captions here, the big blue button on the right, and it'll take a moment to finalize the video, and then you'll be able to download the video ready to go for social media. Due to time and zones, there you have it. Without any video editing to speak of, and over the course of just a few minutes, we've, a, we've been able to create a video that is perfect for social media and looks so much better than the default video output we get when we're recording Zoom interviews. So let me know in the comments how you go. Hopefully, once you've done this a couple of times, you'll find this a super easy and super fast process to run through to get your Zoom videos looking fantastic. And if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button, I'd love for you to subscribe to the channel so that you can get each new tip as it drops here on the Engage Video Marketing YouTube channel. And if you wanna learn more, I encourage you to head on over and watch this video right here, right now to continue your learning on how to engage your ideal audience through effective online video strategies. So again, I'm Ben Amos and I'll see you in the next video right here, right now. Till then.